All right. Oh, I have 49 drop frames. That is 0.1% of the entire stream so far since I started up again. But I'm watching you, drop frames counter. I'm watching you. Midi, yes. Glorious midi. All right. Load existing game. Single player. Uh, 24. You are victorious! Continue. If only these worthless humans could fight as well as they die. Oh, the, the orc voice acting in this game just tickles me. If only these worthless humans could fight as well as they die. <laughs> the humans of Sunnyglade have become fat and lazy with their prosperity. The town is like a ripe plum waiting to be plucked. You will march upon their weak human armies and smash them to pieces. Somewhere in the town is a tower that you must keep intact so that we may study how their magics are created. Fail me and I will have your head on a pike and against a black rock spire. Today I learned that orcs eat plums. All right. Sunny Glade. Time to be destroyed. What do we got? We got grunts. We got um, raiders. And we got peons. All right, let's go find some gold. Bird logs. Double. Well, we found trees, that's a start. Still looking at the dropped frames counter. We're good, still at 49. Man, where's the gold? Hey man, where the gold at? We'll say this. Go we'll harvest over here instead, man. Much safer. Yeah, where the white women at? Seriously, where's the gold though? That's a nice grassy knoll that we're camped down here, at least. Oh, God. Kill this asshole. All right, gentlemen. Let's just move on in force. <laughs> what is Zogi Mini? I thought this was going to be a Warhammer game. What do you mean they changed the license at the last minute? What's a license? Oh fuck, there's loads of them. Oh, this is payment for all my spearmen spam. I'm about to get archer spammed instead. I'm gonna kill a lot of you before I die though. Oh fuck, that priest. I feel like we've already done this map before. Honestly. That's spearman, it is. Where is the gold? Oh god, the knight coming. Where is the gold? 
Where's the meat? There it is, fucking. Finally. Fucking finalement. Alright. Ah, shit. Who will win in this epic conflict? Us, but by a whisker. Take that, you stupid knight. Build me a peon worthy of Mordor. Right, you want to chase man flesh? Christopher Lee was such a legend. Only he could have delivered that line and not sounded stupid. Uh, build me a barracks worthy of Mordor. Oh, not enough gold. Come on, guys, come on. Priest, whatever we're calling you. So who's been watching who's been watching um the Neverwinter Nights? Let's play then. I'm doing it, I'm calling you out. <laughs> it's nearly over. It's nearly over. I've been getting I've been getting messages from people like asking, Are you gonna do War to the Underdark? Please do War to the Underdark. Please continue the, the story. And I'm sort of, I'm so torn because I desperately want to say, yes, yes, I will continue it. And yet at the same time, it's like, if I do, only about 300 people will watch it. I'm not sure I can justify this usage of time. I got a, literally got a message from one of my patrons. It is like the first time in history a patron has ever actually contacted me and asked me for something. A patron literally just con literally contacted me and asked me, please, 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 can you do Hordes of the Underdark? I know that people aren't watching it, but please, can you continue Vera and Deacon's story in, in Hordes of the Underdark? And I'm just like, I, I, I'm just sitting there wringing my hands like, I, 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 I want to, but... I really dig this soundtrack, you know, this old MIDI soundtrack to go, it's a, it's a good one. We're gonna need this lumber mill, because of course my, my plan, once again, is going to be to spam spearmen everywhere. So. However, I, I should probably, I should probably, like, save the money and build some actual barracks units first. These guys deforest at such an alarming rate, seriously. The pale, the pale dogs approach. Oh my god, they have, a, they have scorpions? Are these just like, is this just random wildlife or what is going on here? They say World of Warcraft, I don't want to deal with random scorpions. This wasn't part of the plan. That's a knight as well, fuck me. I'm chasing my peons. What's that about? Oh my word. Catapults now, is it? Stop attacking my barracks, you gits. It's like I'm being this is this is fucking hell. Did you see that? I didn't, I'm sorry, I wasn't aware catapults were Warcraft 1's version of nukes. What in the name of, 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 fucking... I, 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 
this is not going well. What can I say? I attacked him too soon, or, or what? Maybe I should restart. I'm gonna restart. Restart scenario. Alright. Now I know where the gold is. Oh, <laughs> Uh, that's sad, sir. so right. I suppose that's fair, spaghetti. But I you can just, you, I guess you can skip ahead the boring bits. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Mordor. Uh, it's 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 a thing. I don't know why. Like people just sort of forget that they can skip stuff. It always makes me chuckle whenever I, whenever a fellow YouTuber has, feels the need to point it out because I know that the, what kind of comments they must have been getting. I was watching a tabletop tactics video the other day, and even they, who are usually very 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 patient indeed with their comments section. We're just like, guys, uh, we get a lot of like comments saying like the intros and stuff to our videos are too long and the uh, army list section of the videos is too long. Um, guys, you, you you can skip ahead, you know, you can you can you can take that little bar at the bottom of your screen and you can you can move it along and, and skip to the bit of the video you want to watch. Um, and for some reason, this is not a thing that occurs to a lot of people for some bizarre. I don't know why. I don't know why it, it, this, it is this way, but. Ah. Right, they are probing towards us, but this time we are far more prepared for them. We have more gold, we have more of everything. Things are going quite swell so far. Save the game, in fact, to celebrate this fact. We demand perfection. Skipping is not an option. The problem is you're never going to get perfection, though, are you? Like, everyone's idea of perfection is different, and therefore, like, you're never going to satisfy everybody. So. Sometimes you just got to sit there and say, look, fellas, you can skip it if you want to. Because the things that you find boring and you want to skip, there's someone out there who really, really wants to watch that. So, it, it, it's, it's, it's the darn truth. It's the darn rootin' tootin' truth. Okay, we have a strong peon economy going on right here. I just need some more wood so I can build more buildings and we'll be we'll be we'll be golden. Yeah, I mean like to be fair, like one of the reasons I picked a magic user for that playthrough was because I knew that the magic would probably be quite fun and interesting versus if I picked a fighter. Which, it, for a lot of the game, would have been easy mode. But if I had picked a fighter, I'd just be running around bashing things with a sword all game. Which is not nearly as interesting. Give me some down lumber. Yeah. Double.
croutons and butt buns. Making me want some soup now. Bloody croutons. I'm kind of peckish this evening. I had dinner not that long ago either. I am such a fat fuck sometimes. I, I, I surprise even myself. My apparently insatiable appetite. Maybe that's because well, that, maybe that's why I hate Slanesh so much. It pushes my buttons. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like when I started doing like 40k videos, my 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 assumption was. I assume because I'm not going to be uploading these that often, people will probably like it if I err on the side of having the video be longer. But, you know, so you get your money's worth. But then I started getting comments from people saying, oh, it's too long, you should shorten it. I was like, well, okay then. And the reality is I seem to have struck a bit of a medium, really. I Occasionally you get a longer video, occasionally you get a short one, and it seems to be a little bit random. Build more farms. What? Not enough lumber. Chop more trees. Ah! Oh, dear. Well, anyway, next stream is on Friday. And I think for that, we're probably going to continue with Roma Sarekthum. Yell like there is a part of me even after all this time that sort of just chuckles every time every time I say I'm Mr. Rectum. Oh fuck. These catapults are nuts. See that? Okay, the scorpions are definitely on their side. Their cleric is healing them. Actually, don't. Don't go. That's probably like a ton of archers there or something. We need advanced buildings, but I don't know how to get them. I think maybe I'd have to build a lumber mill first. a player like that in D&D, right? D&D is a thing that I would love to do, but I just don't see how I'm, how in the flying frack I will find the time. Because running a D&D campaign, man, it can be like a full-time job sometimes. Oh god. It's not under the catapult. I suppose I can live with it. Hey, we got spearmen now. Build more farms. Jesus Christ. Chop more trees. Ah. Start to sound like the orcs. Did you do the other streams to justify it? Well, that's not the problem. 
because if I was going to run a D and D campaign, that's probably exactly what I'd do. But it's a time thing. I don't know how I'd find the time to organise that shit. If someone else in my streaming circle decided to start a D and D campaign and said to me, "Do you want to get involved and be a player in it?" I'd be like, "Fuck yeah!" Because all then all I'd have to really do is just turn up. But um, to get the ball rolling myself, I'd I'd have to be the DM, and that is a different ball game entirely. Oh my god. That's more scorpions, does that mean that another catapult is going to momentarily appear? Very far between me and Very X. Uh, he lives in Yorkshire. I live in Northamptonshire. So, to you Americans, it's literally next door. But to us people in in the UK, that's like a day trip. I know. I know you. I know you North Americans laugh in the face of long distances, but uh, us Europeans are not quite the same. Oh my God! Piss off, knight. Stop killing my peons! God, the humans are so utterly annoying in this game. Like, rare is the day they actually attack in serious force. They mostly just annoy the crap out of you. They just annoy the pants off you. Like this. Like, he represents no serious threat, but look, he's killed a bunch of peons, and that's really irritating. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to be there in person. Like, that's the beauty of D&D. Like, you can just... You can do it online via, a, via a, a variety of tools designed for the precise purpose of playing D&D online with people. Um, like, that's not a problem. Like, like it's not like... It's not like, like, like Warhammer where you actually have to, like, be there in person for it to work. Yeah, roll twenty is good. Roll twenty is good. Um, my chief concern with roll twenty is that it does it's not visually very interesting for a, for a prospective viewer at home who is not participating. No, my raider is dead. And his archer literally will not die. Stupid cleric! I'll find this cleric and I'm gonna kill him. I'll make him wish he was never born. Also, seriously, why is the range on these things? Yeah, there we go. There they are. Fine. What is that? A conjurer? That's new. Stupid wizard. You're dead now. Oh god. No, don't attack him. Oh man, I misclicked. Catastrophic misclick right there.
May oh, that's a good point, actually. Maybe he will. Maybe he was summoning scorpions. Because that was kind of weird, like, you know. Scorpions don't really fit in the general unit roster of, of the Alliance, do they? Generally speaking, unless, of course, a wizard summons them, in which case that's fine. They were, I was, it was making me wonder. Why did the, why did the Alliance get so much better support units? Like, it's so unfair. They get clerics, they can heal shit, and then they get wizards that can summon scorpions. Like, I get necrolites who can raise skeletons from guys who are already dead. It's not remotely the same. I'm bringing the trap! Guys. It's still alive. Kill it. The level of micromanagement in this game. See, if I was going to... It depends how you're going to do... How you would do the, this hypothetical D&D campaign, right? If you were going to live stream it like so many people do, Roll20 is kind of fine, really, because all you really... All, all you need is a bunch of webcams up top screen, and then you can have Roll20 on the bottom, and that, that just about does it for a live stream. That's fine. You know, that works for people. You know. Um, but if you were doing it as a video series on YouTube, then we're talking different ball game. We're talking it's heavily edited. It's got extra stuff chucked in there. It's got to look visually appealing. Although a lot of people tend to just sort of listen to a D and D broadcast rather than watch it. Um, but you know, then you then you're getting into the territory where roll twenty doesn't quite cut it. I don't think for that sort of thing. For a live stream, it's fine. For personal use, just with your friends, and you're not making some sort of content out. Hashtag content. Um, it's fine. It's a great, great tool. But um, yeah, going beyond that though, I, I would, I would be leaning more towards something like Tabletop Simulator. I don't know. Well, I know, I know what Critical Role is. I've never watched it though, and I don't know who Matt Colville is. I'm not like I'm not a big D and D watcher person. I I just the only the only thing that I D and D related that I actually watch is 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 Arvin Ellerin's D and D streams very occasionally. I, and it's very occasionally because he streams in such a wildly different time zone to me. I mean, I yeah, I have experimented with this, and, and Tabletop Simulator is good shit. You know, um, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> oh, there we go. Um, that was almost a, I'm going to sneeze, but I'm not actually going to sneeze moment. But luckily it came through. Delivered the goods. Anyway. Um, what was I going to say? Um, yeah, tabletop, tabletop sim. I like tabletop sim personally because you get to like actual how you have actual dice that you can actually roll. And um, as, I, as I've said before, I was always a miniatures guy with d and I got into the I got into 3.5 when I started playing D&D. And as some of you may recall, and I should have been building stuff this entire time I've been talking. As some of you may recall, the um, uh, the the uh, the uh, the starter set for 3.5 came with a fuckload of miniatures and boards and stuff, like loads and loads of good stuff. Uh, and nowadays, like the fifth edition starter set is literally just a few sheets of paper and a box with some dice. Um, and that's a perfectly legitimate way to play D and D, but I was always I always loved the miniatures, the actual tactical combat side of things, just as much as the role playing and everything else and the exploration, etc., etc. Um, no surprise there, really, considering I'm a 40k guy, that I'm into the minis. But yeah, that's a thing for me. And the nice thing about Tabletop Simulator is that you can create minis. 
you can do this thing where you get your players to supply you with an image of their character and you can turn it into a 3D uh, figurine type thing. Like it's it's a sprite effectively, you know, like it's it's a two dimensional thing that's propped up and has a base on it, but it's still pretty cool. Like it's still your picture of your character there as a figurine on, on the virtual table, which is nice. And the other thing I like about tabletop simulator D&D is that you can do what I used to do when I actually played D&D round a table with friends back in the day, which is have one of those mats with a grid on it that you that, that, that you could rub, you could use a special pen with and rub off whatever you did on there when you were done, which allowed you to basically create entire dungeons improv on the fly because you would draw the dungeon onto the grid as the adventurers explored their way through it. So you didn't have to prepare shit in advance. You could just be like, yeah, whatever. You could wing the entire thing and just make up a dungeon as you went along just because you had this pen and this mat. And you can you can do that in, in tabletop simulator. Which I think is which is obviously pretty awesome. Whereas with Roll 20, like you've got to have like resources and shit set up in, in advance. At least for it to not look pants anyway. It also means you don't have to, you know, like how with Roll20, you have to like mask off sections of the dungeon to the player so that they can't see it. And it's a kind of a faff. Like that, that, that also doesn't, is no longer a problem if you're just drawing on a map because, you know, the fog of war is naturally there by sheer dint of the fact that you've not actually drawn the thing yet. You know what I mean? So that, that I love. That I think is great. And then you can obviously, you can plop down the minis on it, roll the virtual dice. By like actually picking up and roll, picking them up and rolling them in the thing using physics and shit, which is marvelous, I think. Go chop trees. I think we're down a couple of peons, aren't we? Gonna need another farm as well. More farms. So that's why I like that's why I like tabletop sim. Personally. But um yeah. What's it called? Um Roll20 is still a perfectly viable alternative. And Roll20 as well has a lot of features that the tabletop sim does not have, to be fair. As well. So Bucket cleric. Um you know, so it's six of one, half a dozen of the other, I suppose. But if I was running a campaign, I'd be strongly inclined to just buy all of my potential players a copy of Tabletop Simulator if they didn't already have it, and then just do it like that. Because I'm a nice guy, like, I just want to buy my players a copy of it. Um, more farms. More farms. Be a hipster and use map tools. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, I mean, they, yeah, there's good stuff you can get for a, for all twenty if you're willing to pay. That's true. Work complete. Work complete. Oh. Right, what was I going to send this guy to do? Probably get some lumber, because we're really short on lumber right now. I think that knight killed a bunch of my uh, lumberjacks. Okay, we're looking... Things are, things are looking up for now. I've got a large supply of spearmen. They've not attacked for a while. Economy's looking all right. Gold mine's probably going to collapse relatively soon. But ah, I see you. I see you, pale dog. Gosh, I wish this game sometimes. Sometimes I wish this game had. Guys, attack the fucking swordsman! No wonder over there. Sometimes I wish this game had some sort of turret for base defense. 
Like the old towers in Warcraft 3. There goes another bloody peon that need not have died. Heck, you know what? You guys can go over here. Hello, scorpions. Yep, you're not turning my peons into lunch today. There's definitely a wizard summoning these things somewhere. Kill it! This is the thing I like about spearmen, they kind of... Unlike the grunts and what have you, they tend to act on their own initiative a little bit more and actually attack things. This is why the Spearman Spam strat is kind of my favorite. Because I can kind of leave them standing there and they will attack anything that comes near. Like this guy here. He just kind of stands around like a lemon doing nothing. They attack from this direction. So... Where the white wizard at? Oh god. <laughs> Sweet mother of baby Jesus. Welly, welly, Wellington, I have found myself another gold mine and purged its defenders from existence. So, where, where, where's Sunnydale at? I suppose probably across the river to the north. Sunnydale! Gives me such, such, such dungeon keeper vibes. This is the town of Sunnydale. I'm going to kill the horror lady, and I'm going to narrate it on this wonderful silky voice. God, it's been a long time since I played Dungeon Keeper. Bullfrog at its finest back in them days. Die well, brothers. Okay, I, I guess there was an attack because everybody's run away again. Or they just run out of trees. I suppose the nice thing is, though, at least now I've uncovered all of this, it will stay uncovered forever. Like, um... There's no temporary fog of war. There's just either the black mist of doom or uh, or or perfect visibility. No in between. Speaking of mist, we should stream mist. I've got the. Uh, I've got. I, I believe I own mist masterpiece edition, and I also own real mist. I suppose I'd probably stream real mist just because it wouldn't have any weird um, screen resolution issues. Um, I 
Mist was fun though. Mist was like a. I suppose it's. I suppose. Technically, it's a point-and-click adventure game. Really, that's what Mist is. But um, it was kind of more of an emphasis on. Well, it was first person for it for it, for for a start, instead of you having a little wisecracking character walking around the place. Um, and there was much more of an emphasis on exploration, I think, and doing things in not a totally linear order. And it wasn't item-based either. It didn't have item-based puzzles, which is always nice. Build more farms. That's not a farm. That's not a farm either. That's a farm. Oh god, the traffic jam is real right now. Remember the dig? Uh, I, t I think I own a copy of the dig and I never actually played it. It was one of those things. I think you, I think it was given away for free very briefly on GOG or something. And that's why I have it. Right, into attack formation, lads. Technically defense formation. <laughs> Raise me some skeletons. I have so many games. I have so many games that I need to try out and see if they're worth streaming and stuff, and I never get the time to do it because I'm too busy dealing with other things. Like, I'd love to have. Oh gosh, those, they're all over the place. The bring a truck. Ah. Sneaking through. Will you fucking not, please? Bloody archers. Is there a game in existence where archers are not the most annoying enemy? Can only build next to roads. Oh fuck me, that sounded like a catapult! It was! Ah, oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck me, dude. Do you have any idea how long it takes to build these armies? Dear Lord. Ah, uh, you see all my peons are panicked again now. Go, go back to work. Gameplay. Yeah, it's it's uh it's frustrating. It's what it is.
Oh, I'm getting into rage quit territory. I'm getting there. I'm not quite there yet, but I'm getting there. Because this scenario is not hard. It's just going to take ages. That's the, uh, and that's basically what most of it has come down to in this game so far, actually, to be fair. None of the none of the actual scenarios have been very difficult. They've just been extremely time consuming. Both because of the way the economy works and also because of just how clunky it is. Like I can only select four guys at a time. And yeah. Once we do here is rage quit territory, what's the this game plan? Like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some flying. I'm gonna boot up X plane, do some do some flying. Scorpions are just chilling out there in the woods. Well, I say let them. Well, as long as they don't come over here. Dogs. Yeah, dogs are pretty annoying. I mean... There's annoying, but there's, like, annoying with, a, like, a capital A. I mean, like, dogs in Skyrim are not very annoying. I mean, if you want to ex extend the definition to wolves, you know, they're a little bit irritating, but, you know, just more of a nuisance than anything. Not like archers. Archers or dudes with shields. I haven't bought Sekiro yet because I'm very much not in that kind of mood at the moment. <laughs> Speaking of annoying enemies. Just attack, don't stand there, fuck. <laughs> I, yeah, um. <laughs> it's looking increasingly unlikely that I will actually finish this game, and I did say when we started playing it that it's unlikely that I will actually finish it. So there was fair warning. However, um. It, yeah, at some point we'll move on to Warcraft 2, which is a much better game. Uh, I, again, I don't know if I'll finish it. I certainly won't be able to beat Beyond the Dark Portal, I can tell you that much right away. But um, yeah, Warcraft 2 is much, much better. Invisible enemies as well, oh yeah. I get instant nostalgia rushes every time I even open up Warcraft 2 at the minute, just just from the menu music. So I'm looking forward to getting stuck into that. And then, you know, eventually we'll move on to Warcraft 3. And Warcraft 3 is a legit masterpiece. Like, I would not be surprised if I play that all the way through to the end, because it is great. Yeah, I know what you mean, Deadbeat. <laughs> I'm like that with a lot of games. It's like, I'll watch someone else play it, but I'm not sure I want to play it myself, thanks. Leave my Necrolite alone.
Yeah, Warcraft 3 is good shit. I am very much enjoy it. This is going to collapse very, very soon. Then we're going to have to go over here. Ugh. Has there been any news on this Dwarf Fortress Steam release yet? I want it. I want it bad. At some point we're going to have to stream... Um, <laughs> well, at some point we're going to have to stream Mass Effect because I said we would. Um, but also at some point we're going to, we're, we're going to have to stream... Um, Feel the spear spam! We're going to have to stream... Um, What's it called? Enderol? Because I think Enderol now has its standalone Steam release now, isn't it? Finally. I think that finally happened. I can believe someone told me about it. The only problem with the Spearman spam strap of mine is that I think it's hard countered like a bastard by catapults. Which is a little worrying. Is this game pre control grips? Yeah, it is. So. That's what makes it especially irritating. I can only select four guys at a time, and I don't have any control groups. So it is unbelievably frustrating to play. I seem to be struggling on threat anyway, but... Struggling. Emphasis on struggling. <laughs> but I played Majesty. Uh... I think I literally only played the tutorial of it a long time ago. I class Mass Effect as retro game. bundle of 60 bucks. What'd you get in that bundle, out of curiosity? Yeah, yeah, more Romus Rector on Friday, and hopefully a bit of Beyond Good and Evil as well. Because we haven't streamed that this week. In fact, I, I, we haven't streamed it in about a week. I'd like to continue with it, because it's a very, very nice, charming little game. <laughs> This is the list. Neverwinter Nights, Crown of Wyvern, Crown of Cormier, Infinite Dungeons, Pirates of the Sword Coast, Enhanced Edition, Official Soundtrack, Premium Adventures, Official Soundtrack, Houses of Heroes of Neverwinter, Darkness Over Dag. Ooh, Darkness Over Dagfit is really, really good. Darkness Over Daggerford is seriously good. Like, if you enjoyed watching me play through Shadows of Undertide, Darkness Over Daggerford is like ten times better than Shadows of Undertide as a as an RPG story experience. Honestly, I would say it's possibly even better than Hordes of the Underdark. And Hordes of the Underdark is traditionally considered the best, um, the best of the Neverwinter Nights campaigns. Darkness over Daggerfoot is some good shit. Sixty, uh, that, that's that's odd, honestly, considering a lot of that comes with the enhanced edition as is. I would honestly just buy the enhanced edition and and Darkness over Daggerfoot, and, and frankly, even Darkness over Daggerfoot is kind of optional, I guess. Fucking stop healing! Kill that cleric, please. Yeah, die, you bastard. Okay, we've got a total traffic jam here, this is not good. Oh, 
This is where it's all gonna fall apart. Here, the end is nigh. Here it comes. Uh. Yeah, Neverwinter Nights 2. All right, so Neverwinter Nights 2's base campaign was okay. It was a solid 7 out of 10 from me. Much better than the original Neverwinter Nights campaign. And the original Neverwinter Nights. That was basically a glorified tech demo, I've heard it described as. And it just really is honestly the truth. Um... It can still be enjoyable as long as you embrace the the how rote and cheesy it is, but generally, nah. Uh, Neverwinter Nights 2, on the other hand, has a pretty uh, you know it's it's an all right it's an all right campaign. Its highlights include the fact that you can do a fortress, Pillars of Eternity style, and also, but basically, mostly, just it comes down to the NPC characters in your party being really awesome in Neverwinter Nights 2. Like they're a really really memorable bunch. They were kind of awesome. Would you attack, please? Oh, I've got a bloody pee on selected. That's why they're not attacking. Ah! <laughs> this game! This game is evil! Oh, there's knights everywhere. I... Yeah, no. I, 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 I give up. I give up. <laughs> I have had enough. Away with you. Away with you, I say. Ah, oh, there, there's the rage quit. There it is. It finally happened. <laughs> the game has officially gone beyond my capacity to micromanage. Uh, I just can't do it. Were we playing Rock Warcraft the whole evening? Um, we were. Emphasis on were. <laughs> the past tense. <laughs> um. Yeah. I like the, yeah, the graphics are nice. The whole pixel art thing has, has become very in vogue these days, isn't it? It's made quite the comeback, so... The game went from, going, went from looking really good to looking really shit to looking really good again, just because that's how weird video game graphics nostalgia works. Um... Switch to a different Warcraft game. We could make a start in Warcraft too. I I wanted. I do want to do some X playing this evening. I do. It is only half ten, so I guess we can play Warcraft two for thirty minutes. But I do want to do some X playing. You're not going to talk me out of it. I'm sorry. <laughs> um. The thing is, I'm going to need to set this up to stream, and I haven't done that already, so. Depths of Peril is on my desktop still. I haven't checked that to see if it even works yet, but maybe one of these days. I just, it's such an awesome title for a game, Depths of Peril. It's one of the big pile of action RPGs I have installed currently. I've got Depths of Peril. I've got Diablo. I've got Grim Dawn. I'm pretty sure I got Dungeon Siege 2 knocking around here somewhere as well. I don't know how streamable an action RPG is, though. Like, it really just mostly seems to. I mean, it. All right, all right, all right. I might, I might catch some hate for this, right? But here's the thing: like Diablo-style action RPGs, to me, they are basically glorified cookie clickers. I'm going there. I'm saying it. That's my hot take. You move your character around and you click on enemies and they die. And that's all you do the entire game. And you and then for doing this, you are rewarded with increasingly better loot with better 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 stats. And sometimes you get a rare loot drop loot drop that's like a purple color or something. Um 
I'm, 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 that's, there you go. That's my, that's my hot take. That's, that's what it is. I mean, I'm not saying they're not fun, because they are fun. But, you know, when I, when I play them, I'm having a self-aware kind of fun. Borderlands did Diablo style shit better. Changed my mind. Well, I'm not going to try and change your mind, but I will tell you that I don't like Borderlands at all, and I, I do at least enjoy Diablo, so I would disagree with that statement from a purely subjective personal opinion standpoint. Um, although, really, I do enjoy Diablo 2 a lot more than Diablo 1, but sadly Diablo 2 is not available on GOG, so at least not yet, anyway. Have I played Path of X? I have, I have, yes. I've not played it in a long time. I've not played it since like it got bought by that Chinese company. But um, I did play it, and it was pretty damn good. All right. I'm watching Warcraft 2. I'm going to see if I can get it to stream somehow. Get ready for some nostalgia. Also loud noises. Um, game capture. I hopefully we can get away with the game capture here. This isn't DOSBox, so don't have to stream desktop mode. Warcraft Two. Uh, okay. And what's the volume mixer? All right. Okay. 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 Let's see if this works. Hey, we're in business. Yes. Warcraft 2, boys and girls. Oh, I played this. Cool. I put put a surprising amount of time into this back in the day. I don't know how much of it I'm actually going to remember. It's been a very long time. This game has trolls and elves, as you can see. Yeah, but the units and expansion was dated to your local Ox fam. <laughs> Precious nostalgia. Yeah. First game with the actual Lance and Horde, yes. Look at it! Look at it, it's so glorious compared to Warcraft 1. Look at all these wonderful sprites. I mean, the noises are very, very similar, but visually. Look at all those trolls. Now, a caveat. This is not Warcraft 2 as it was originally released. This is a slightly remastered version by Blizzard. Um, uh, this is currently running in like 1920 by resolution after all, so. Six years have passed since the first war between man and orc. The once mighty army of Azeroth lay among the blackened and charred remains of Stormwind Keep. Those that escaped fled across the Great Sea, bringing tales of the suffering they had faced at the hands of the Orcish Hordes. Eager to engage in battle once again, the Orcs constructed ships of war to bear them across the Great Sea. The 
orcish warriors yearn for the sounds of battle to fill the air and look to the far horizon for new blood to spill. Using the weapons forged by their new allies, the humans made haste to prepare for the onslaught. While dwarven cannon were being loaded, others armed themselves with elven steel and mail. common foe, mankind stands at the shores of destiny and awaits the coming of the Tides of Darkness. Dear Lord, how far Blizzard have come from that to like the, 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 the cutscenes they do these days for like the newest WoW expansions and stuff. It's like bloody hell. But anyway, um, all right, let's do this. New campaign! Orcs, of course. We'll do Tides of Darkness. If we do manage to complete Tides of Darkness, if my patience lasts that long, um, they'll be beyond the Dark Portal. And beyond the Dark Portal is preposterously, comically hard. Uh, and we will not... I, I can guarantee you now I won't be able to complete it. But I will certainly... If we do complete this first, I'll certainly give it my best, best shot and see how badly I get beaten. Um... Is this like a prologue series to WoW? Get out, Blackwater. Just just leave, man. The door is over there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, orc campaign. The Horde is preparing to launch an assault against the mainland of Lordaeron. Orgrim Doomhammer, war chief of the Orcish Hordes and ruler of the Blackrock Clan, has ordered you to establish a small outpost on Lordaeron's southern shores. To secure the Zuldair region as Doomhammer demands, you will need to construct a barracks and several farms to feed your troops. Your success may help us determine the extent of the pathetic human defenses and what resistance they can offer against our forces. Yeah. This is what all the orcs sounded like back in the olden days of Warcraft. We all sounded like this. And it is awesome. So this is just like the first mission of the of the original game. Um in fact, you know what? Here's the thing. Menu, options, preferences. Sure, there was a way. Hold on. And and quit to menu. No, no, no. Hang on a second. Uh, exit program. Sorry, folks. I want to get it so we don't have black bars at the side, and I believe there is a way to do that. Um. Video settings. Scaling method. Okay. Um, we'd like something other than a black screen, if that's okay. Gosh, really? Do I have to do this? Oh no, there we go. It just took ages to sort this shit out. Okay, uh, new campaign, orcs. The Horde is preparing to launch an assault against the mainland of Lord. Mainland of Lord. Actually, this is worse. This is worse. Everything's just really small now. What the? What? I'm sure there's a way to. I did it. I did it when I was testing it. There's a way to get it to run so it like takes up the full screen. What is what is the meaning of this? Video settings, scale, method. Oh, I. I Aspect ratio correction. Disabled? Maybe that's it. 
Oh, yeah, boy. Here we go. All right. Now we're in business. It's slightly stretched now, but it, it's better than having black bars, if you ask me. Well, hey, there we go. Now we're in business. The horde is preparing to launch. Much better. There you go. Taking up the entire glorious screen. Look, I can right-click to move stuff now instead of having to instead of having to hit the move key and do that all the time. Oh, I love it. Also, I'm gonna slow the speed down a little bit because everything's so fast now. And look, I can scroll with my mouse. I don't have to right-click everywhere. <laughs> and look control group one i have control groups now it's beautiful it's glorious ready to work ready huh? to work <laughs> on the food oh i need to build a farm i need that Lord Oak. Lord Oak. Alright, build a farm. And look, we don't need roads now either. So we're not gonna have traffic jams of peons trying to take resources back to the uh back to the, the Great Hall here. Lord Oak. Dabu. Dabu. Look, I just right click on him and they attack. It's glorious. Look how quickly we killed him compared to the first game. Oh my days. Look at the face we are wrecking presently. And look, it displays my food at the top of the screen now as well. Also, there's oil. Oil is a resource in this game. You can use it for naval units. Ready to work. You played this in DOSBox? Was there a, was there a DOS version of Warcraft 2? I didn't know that. Like I said, this we're playing right now is a slightly, ever so slightly remastered version. Although it does come with Warcraft 2 Classic, which you can still use to play multiplayer with. Like, there's two versions of the game that you get when you buy it from GOG. You get the slightly remastered version, which we are playing right now. And you get the... Um, you get this... Uh, you get the Classic version. I think we've killed all the humans on the map now. Excellent. Like I didn't even I didn't even lose a grunt either. Like I came close, but I didn't actually lose a grunt. Compare that to my I failed this mission in Warcraft One the first time we tried it. That's how big of a difference an actual functioning user user interface and everything makes. You know, I got past beyond the dark portal. Ready to work. <laughs> I don't think a lot of people did, mate, honestly. <laughs> I, I certainly didn't. Oh, 
Oh, I love I love the the icon artwork in this game as well. So good. All the little pictures. Game just oozes personality. It's lovely. Farms and a barracks is what we need, so. Mine more gold. Swabu. Zug Zug. Loktar. Hey, Whippy Whip. Yeah, Warcraft 2. We were playing Warcraft 1, but I got so frustrated with it, I ended up quitting. So we moved on to Warcraft 2. And it's so good. By comparison. It's a perfectly good RTS, even today, to be honest with you. In my, in my personal opinion. Warcraft 2 is a perfectly playable RTS. The only thing that really dates it a little bit, aside from obviously the visuals, is the fact that you can only select nine units at a time, because that's how much just space there is on the on the user interface. But I have to say, nine units is a significantly better than the paltry four units at a time you could select in Warcraft 1. And to help you with it, you do at least have command groups in this game. So that's okay. I, can, I just have big groups of nine. I already do that when I play Age of Empires 2 as it is, so... It's no skin off my nose, really. Zug-zug. Ready to work. Zug dog dar. Look look dar. Yes, the gift of the cursor is an, is a seven orc hand. <laughs> Warcraft 3 had 12 max units. Like, did it? Oh, I didn't remember that. Yeah, I don't think there's much chance for Warcraft 4 anymore, because, I mean, ultimately, the problem is that the storyline now continues in World of Warcraft. So. Intimately, that means there's probably never going to be a Warcraft 4. Which is a shame. See, I'm still, I'm still, <laughs> I've played enough Warcraft 1 now that I'm instinctively still using the shortcuts even though I don't need to. It's amazing how freaking dense the lore is these days compared to how it was back when I was playing this and Warcraft 3 and then Vanilla WoW. Like my brother, who is a huge WoW nerd, I don't think he ever really played these games so much, but he played loads of WoW. Um, he lent me his, like, um, I have to build five farms. He lent me one of his books, like, of, of all the lore history of, of, of the Warcraft universe. Ah, there we go. And it's, it's really dense and huge, basically. Our spies report that a band of human soldiers have captured a war party led by troll commander Zul Jin and have taken them to a secret prison near the township of Hillsbrad. Seeing an opportunity to place these captives in debt to the Horde, Doomhammer sends you to ransom Zul Jin and his trolls and return them to their own encampment nearby. The war chief believes that this raid upon the unsuspecting prison will strike terror into the hearts of those who would dare resist the Horde. Ma 
marvellous. Look how many dudes I can select at once. It is amazing. Or a dog. And a food. Oh, God. Awkward. Awkward. Haha. <laughs> Is your own there? <laughs> return with goods, sir. And then build me a farm. No, no. Return with the goods. Eat that. Zug Zug. It's a little worrying that they've already started me off with nine grunts before the thing has even got underway. It makes me feel like there's going to be a huge, huge Alliance army coming to kick my ass momentarily, but. Whatevs. Okay, that back passage leads nowhere. Good. It's very Christmas season. We've got all the snow. The nice, nice fir trees. Lots of red and green. It's a very Christmassy battle, this. What is to do with this here? Look at this. Found a freaking secret passage. Ah! We're being attacked! Pale dogs. We have found them. Right, that was an interesting diversion. I bet this exists purely so that the AI can go and attack us from behind. I bet you anything that's why that's there. Ah, run away, little archer. Run away. Rushing them is a legit strategy in this in this battle. Probably not. They're probably like, oh god, look, they've got loads of buildings and stuff. Oh god, no, no. We must rescue Bo Jin. He has been captured, as you can see. Okay, that's interesting. How that? Okay, we can just attack the wall. That's good. It's like playing Age of Empires now. I if I could hear the distant sounds of them bashing the wall. Alright. Alright, you're control group one. You guys are control group two. Okay, okay. Okay, you got me all right. All right, you the boss. All right. Okay. You got me the boss. So where the circle of power at? That's my question. Huh? Can't build more peons because I've already got too many population. Alright, interesting. So. Stand ground, patrol. Loads of options now.
Dun, dun. <laughs> oh, chop more trees now. Would you want to okay. kill me, right? Lord, Lord. Lord. Yeah, it's amazing. The, 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 the <laughs> trolls in this game are amazingly hench compared to uh, compared to how they seem to be in, in WoW. Can you build me a fucking farm? Lord farm. Grief. I mean, it's nice having all these trolls, but they've kind of ruined my population cap, as you can see. I love all the little portraits in this game. Would you want a key? Would you want a key? <laughs> <laughs> And the humans just as just as silly and fun as well. Like the human peasants. Yes, my lord. Yup, son. Righto. Work complete. All right then. Yeah. <laughs> Off I go then. <laughs> oh, all the coins are coming back to me now. Oh, yeah, here's the thing. You remember, you remember the stop poking me thing from the first game? Do it in Warcraft 3 as well, it's even better in that game. The peons, oh yeah. Lord Hook, Lord Hook. <laughs> what? Look out. Missed me. <laughs> that tickles. I would not do such things if I were you. Ah, it's gotten away from me. Some dog. Oh, 
A line where they were like, Why are you poking me still? Thinking Warcraft 3. Was that what they what that was a weird ones? Because Warcraft 1, when you click on them enough, they go, Stop poking me! I thought there was a quote in Warcraft 2 that was, Why are you poking me again? Um But maybe that was Warcraft 3. <laughs> yeah, my peons are gonna start unionizing. I'll keep this up. Hey, General Store. I'll do. We're playing some Warcraft 2. Because I got fed up with Warcraft 1. Work basically. And this is taking its sweet damn time as, uh, as well, admittedly, but. Um, hang on, the mouth farm. Because I, I'm having some. I've had some population cap issues, basically, that's only just now getting sorted out. Let's go exploring. Maybe we can end the mission a bit earlier than I previously thought. That would be nice. Is Warcraft 1 hard? Here's, well, here's the thing about Warcraft 1. The missions themselves aren't actually hard, it, but they are made difficult by the fact that the game has such a clunky user interface. The objective is to get Ket rescue Zuljin here and get him to the circle of power or whatever it's called. Which I can only assume is this way because it ain't in my base. Finally, some alliance to kill. Would you want to kill? 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 Would you want
Sansan. Swobu. Lokta. Sansan. Swobu. Ah, here we go. Dabu. This is Lokta. looking pretty soon. Like Dabu. Alright. You the boss. One Zuljin. Okay. Ah, here we go. <laughs> we win? Yay! Okay, we didn't need to have spent nearly as long on that mission as we did, apparently. In preparation for a final strike on Hillsbrad, the War Chief directs you to begin construction of facilities for the Orcish Armada near the South Shore region. Zul'jin and his trolls, eager to take revenge upon the humans who imprisoned them, have agreed to aid the Horde by supplying axe throwers and destroyers to assist in defending your South Shore operation. A shipyard must be constructed in order to build our wave riders, and you will need much of the black liquid known as oil to build your fleet. Our assaults on Hillsbrand cannot known begin as oil. until your task is completed. Build a shipyard, build four oil platforms. Oh, it's so green! Sheep! Critters! Yes, this game has critters. I remember this. The sheep and the seals. Splat. It's fair to say Warcraft did not take itself quite so seriously back in the day. Arg, arg, 
Yes, Captain? Arg? Hello! You're the Ahoy. captain! Ahoy! You're the captain! You're the captain! You're the captain! Ahoy! Ahoy! I would love to! I would love to! You're the captain! You're the captain! Yes, Captain! You're the captain! Ahoy! I would love to! I would love to! I would love to! Ahoy! I would love to! Yeah, you are the way. captain! Ahoy! You're the captain! Ahoy! I would love to! Ahoy! You're the captain! Ahoy! You're the I captain! I would love to! Ah, that's an oil patch though, isn't it? Zog dog! We will need that. But first though, barracks. Bravo, Lord Hook! No, I didn't need to do that. Ready that looks good. <laughs> uh, right, let's see. Build me a lumber mill, possibly. Yes. That was a funny sound effect. Frugal is streaming? Fuck me. Since when did Frugal actually use his Twitch channel? My god. Ah yes, we're in Hillsbrand now. We're building ships, basically. Look, we have a scenario objectives button in this game. Build a shipyard, build four oil platforms. Work complete. Ready to work. Gold. Enough no. food. No. Enough lumber. No. Upgrade three axes, eh? And look, you can use lumber mills as a drop-off point for resources in this game. <clears throat> Which is marvellous. You can also build more great halls as well, so you don't have your dudes running all the way across the map and back again with the gold. Which is absolutely ridiculous. Are you not here for the show? Oh, hang on a second. Watch this. <laughs> yes, if you click on the critters enough, they explode. I thought you might enjoy that. It's done sheep. Very good. Very droll.
dirty deeds and they're done with sheep. Oh, that's uh, no, oh, oh, that sounds hot. It's the Welsh edition of that particular song. Hey, Darmok. Buildings built faster in this game. Warcraft 2, indeed, yes. I got bored of Warcraft 1, so we moved on to the second game. Work complete. And so far, it's quite fun. A little bit. It's, it still suffers from the it takes ages to get anything done problem, but it's a little bit less cumbersome than, um, than the, the, the first game. So it's oh, it's difficult to deal with. Look down. We're deforesting, like, not nearly as quickly either, which is helpful. <laughs> if this was Warcraft 1, we would have deforested all of this by now. Ready to work. Oh, hey, yeah. That's the, um... That's the, um... The shortcut for the game speed. Unfortunately, I don't know how... To, there's no way to quickly reset it to whatever it was set to before, so... I don't want to mess with it too much. So I'd say, it means I can just talk to the chat while we've got downtime. Uh. There we go. Ready to work. Zug zug. F9. I'm saving the game before I before I press F9 and it like destroys everything. Oh, it just does that. Oh, hey, cool! I can cheat. Why not? <laughs> Mouse interface, Warcraft 1 style? No, definitely Warcraft 2 style, holy shit. Why on earth would you want to send it back to World of Warcraft 1 style? Your command, master. You absolute masochist. Lord Lothar. Right. That was the thing. Again, the problem really wasn't that it was hard. Like, the, the actual scenario was not a difficult scenario. It was just made difficult okay. by how difficult the game was to control. More bloody farms, my god. Farm building simulator. No, I actually, I've said this before, I do actually own a copy of Farm Sim, Farming Simulator. Is it Farming Simulator or is it Farm Simulator? I don't remember. But um, I own it. I do have it. I don't think I've ever played it, but I do own it. I've watched other people play it. I've watched Squirrel stream it a bunch of times. And it actually does look surprisingly fun. Particularly if you're, if you're doing it with some friends multiplayer and you're just sort of running a farm. It's basically like Stardew Valley, except it's in 3D. And... Um, Instead of all the fantasy stuff, it's just like big tractors and farming machinery and things like that. If you imagine Stardew Valley but in 3D and instead of fantasy stuff and RPG elements, you've got like more of a focus on operating big machinery. That's effectively what it is, like large tractors and combine harvesters and stuff. Farm. That's what we need. Kabu. Ding ding. Oil tanker. Not enough food. Fuck me. Why not make a fantasy track sim? Because that will appeal to basically nobody. <laughs> the fantasy fans won't really dig it that much, and the um, hardcore farming sim aficionados will be like fantasy tractors. What? No! 
Merealism. I did notice actually that um, Work complete. there's a remaster coming out of the old Fantasy General. Which is kind of fun, I suppose. If you recall um, Panzer General from back in the day, there was also a game they released by the same company called Fantasy General. I think it's getting a remaster slash sequel thing, but that's kind of cool. Gonna build another farm, save myself some trouble. Well, there's a bunch of Alliance dudes over here, but they don't seem to be really doing anything, so let's just get on with the old uh, oil tankerage, shall we? First few missions of this campaign seem to be really easy. Ship. I, matey, you're the captain. You're the captain. I think we could go exploring. I would love to. You're the captain. Ahoy! You're the captain. Work complete. I would love Ahoy. to. Ahoy! Building ship. Aha. Arg. Arg. You're the Arg. captain. Ahoy! You're the captain. Ahoy! You're the captain. Ah! I would love to. Battle Alliance dogs. An elven destroyer. I think I we you. might lose this, you know. Yes, Captain. Oh no, yes, I think Captain. we'll win, just. Mark. Oh no. We've had it. Glug 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 glug. Shrug dog. Dabu. Do these cost gold or lumber to build, I wonder? Work complete on building ship. I matey. I would love to. I matey. Ahoy! Slay these elven pirates. We're being attacked! Yar, you've had it! Ahoy, Down to Davy captain, Jones' locker captain. with you. Ahoy. Oh god, there's another one. Done building Ahoy. Ship. Ahoy. Hey, Sarah. Welcome to the stream. We are playing World Warcraft 2 this evening, instead of Warcraft 1. Because I got fed up with the Warcraft one. Oh no. We're being attacked! Arg! I you're the captain. Flee! You're the captain. Ahoy! You're the captain. I would love to. You're the captain. I matey. You're the captain. You're the captain. What about streaming any Command and Conquer games? You're the captain. Oh gosh. Um, I mean... Ahoy, the trick would be ahoy. getting versions of the games that work. Um, I would love to. It's been a long time I since I've played any of them, but uh, I mean, it's, this CNC three, I suppose, and Red ahoy. Alert, Red Alert three. You're the they captain. run just fine. I would the love older to. stuff. I'm not sure I own a copy of Tiberian Sun that works, or I'm not sure where I'd get I one. Would love I'm not to. sure if Tiberian Sun is actually available anywhere. I would love to. You're the captain. Ahoy. Oh dear. It's not going well. Arg, you're the captain. Arg, ahoy! Is it really freeware? Well, I mean, I'm only if I don't. I'd only do it if it's like legit, actually freeware, as opposed to 
you know, yes, Captain. people are just like, oh, it's abandoned oh, right. where? Because unofficially nobody's Good selling it and right. stuff, which is oh, a very le a le an extremely grey area I legally that I, like, I prefer I to avoid. Steam has them. Oh, well, that simplifies things somewhat. Ahoy! 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 You're the, You're captain. the captain. Ahoy! I would love to. I would love to. Arg! That's You're the captain. Ahoy! Arg! Uh, Ahoy! I would, I would, I would love to. It's foul alliance dogs. Yes, captain. You're the captain. You're the captain. I'm AT. Ahoy! Ahoy! Yes, Captain. Ahoy! This is going to take a while, clearly. I, may I would love to. Yes, Captain. The captain. Ahoy! Ahoy! Yes, we'll get him next Ahoy. time. <laughs> You're the captain. You're the captain. Ahoy. Building ship. I would love to. Arg. Arg. You're the captain. Yeah, released it. Twenty turns free win. Oh, that's good news then. It's been a very, very, very long time since I played Tiberian Sun. Yes, Captain. Most of my memories of it are playing it on very fast, like speed and getting my ass kicked, and mammoth tank things. Not mammoth tanks, but the actual mammoth walker things. And um, James Earl Jones. Yes, Captain. Because James Earl Jones was in there. You're the captain. He was he I was in Tiberian Sun. Of lumber. I would love to. What? Zug -zug. Checking the dropped frames counter. We're still at 49. Whatever the connection issues we were having earlier in the stream, zug, zug. they have been served. I have 12,000 gold, oh my goodness. Because I've not been building anything that requires gold. Yes, Captain. I would love to. Right, this island officially belongs to the Horde now. And luckily, because this is not World of Warcraft, these guys won't respawn in five minutes. <laughs> Work them, Arg. You're the captain. We're being attacked. You're the captain. I would love to. Ah. I would love to. Another elephant ship. Yes, Captain. You're the captain. You're the captain. You're the captain. I would love to. Alright, we have four... Ah, it's not quite built yet. Once this is built, we win. I'm just bullying the Alliance right now for the, for the gits and shiggles. 
No, we didn't stream any Beyond Good and Evil on Monday. Uh, I think I pretty much just, yeah, we just streamed Roma Rectum from start to finish the entire way. Work complete. I'm planning on hopefully streaming some on Friday. Now that the Armada is well supplied with the precious black substance that your tankers have amassed, Doomhammer feels it is time to make a gruesome example of Hillsbrad. With the aid of new foundry sites that allow you to construct more advanced ships, you may build transports to deliver your forces across the channel to the cowering human settlement. All who oppose the Horde must be taught a harsh lesson. Leave no one alive. Blitz look a bit more darker. I'm not. I'm glad I'm not the only one who thinks the new obliterators don't have nearly enough guns on them. Because they really don't. Let's be real here. I don't have nearly enough guns. Oh, what's their objective? Probably just kill everything, really. Destroy Hills, Brad, slaughter the Alliance defenders, yeah. No more butt plugs in this game, though. Yeah, I know. No more butt plugs. Butt plugs. We do get Swarbu, though. It's not much of a constellation, is it, really? Let's be honest. Build a tower. No. Well, it appears we are alone on this island for the most part. Unless there's someone up here. I don't think there is. And we have a ship. Ready to work. Oh, maybe this is a bit bigger than I thought it was. That's what she said. Okay. I have explored the entire island. I'm honestly not the biggest fan of the Hellbrew model. The GW cells. I think if I was going to add any more dreadnoughts to my army, they're going to be Forge World ones. I'm, just, I'm really not a fan of the Hellbrutes. I, I think, because I, because on Forge World at least, I think you can. I don't know if it's still a case. You get the the old Hell Forge Contemptors, which is nice. I have a couple of those, but you can also just get regular Legion Dreadnoughts, which you can use as Hellbrutes. It's very expensive compared to buying a plastic Hellbrute, but they, they look so much better. I have a pair of I have a pair of Hellbrutes that are literally just you know plastic space marine ones that have been converted. So 
One using a venerable kit, one using an ironclad kit, I think, if I, re if I recall correctly. Barracks! Zug, zug. There's a lot of naval combat in this game, yeah. Um, a lot. It was kind of the big thing in this game. That was that was like the big new feature. Was ships. What you want me to do? What you want me to do? All right. It's an odd thing, really, isn't it? Actually, because like. Warcraft 2 comes along, naval combat. Every other RTS copies it. Age of Empires gets naval combat. Rise of Nations, naval combat. So on and so forth. And then Warcraft 3 comes out and they're like, nah, naval combat wasn't that great. Let's get rid of it. Cover does indeed have a pirate orc. Yeah, it has a pirate orc and a pirate human, I think. Ready to work. <laughs> Wait, no, that was the first one. No, yeah, I'd be, it definitely had a pirate orc. I remember that, though. If I looked hard enough around here, I'd probably still have the box. I'd probably still have my original copy around here somewhere. God knows where. Probably in the attic, I don't know. Gold and lumber. lumber. Hey man, some things don't change. Like like playing 40k as a grown man, spending hundreds and hundreds of quid on it, and yet I'm still looking down there at, my, at the tabletop thinking. How can 10 Space Marines possibly fit inside that Rhino? It just doesn't make sense. <laughs> you know. Zug, zug. Ready to work. One day, I might, I, as I've said, I have ambitions of one day somehow playing a Gorka Morka campaign on the channel. And Gorka Morka was interesting because in Gorka Morka, which is effectively like a skirmish, it's a skirmish game. You play it with very, very few models. You get a little gang of orcs and they're your gang and you fight against other gangs and stuff like that. Um, if you've ever played Necromunda or if you're aware of Necromunda, it's, it's like Necromunda, but with orcs and importantly, it has vehicles as well. And in, 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 in Gorka Morka, um, basically, when you, if you had a vehicle, you had to be able to physically fit all of the models inside the vehicle. And if any of them fell off the vehicle, they counted actually in-game as having fallen off the vehicle and they took damage. So you had to build and convert yourself these big wagons and stuff for, you, for your, your boys uh, to drive around in without falling out. If you st if you're st if you're ever interested in it, there is like a community-made, updated version of Gorka Morka available, like online for free. You can download the rules for it. And one day, one day, I want to play Gorka Morka with someone as a campaign. I want to do a Gorka Morka campaign. I've just I've just not been able to find anyone willing to do it so far. <laughs> Mini Wargaming on YouTube did a Gorkamoka campaign relatively recently, actually. So if you're fascinated by the concept of the game, you can watch them play it, and it's really good fun. Ready to work. It's one of the best best video series they've done in ages, actually, was that Gorkamoka campaign. I enjoyed that way more than, than just watching regular 40k battle reports. 
to see their new decks. Mini Wargaming. Oh, have they moved into the new place now? I have not seen the updates yet. No. I haven't watched any of their videos in a little while, actually. I, haven't, I just haven't had time. Um, Ready to work. Swoggle. Oh, more farms. Ah, oh, more trees. <laughs> Post a few photos on Instagram. Oh, I, I'm not following them on Instagram. Yet. Work complete. I can fix that. Right now. I just realized my phone's on 1% battery. R.I.P. Can I quickly get on there before it dies? There it is, Mini Wargaming. Follow. Yay! I followed Beard and B Bone on, 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 on here. And Beard puts up some cool pictures. The B Bone is just a map absolute weirdo. There's always like videos of him dancing and stuff. It's strange. Uh, I don't know if they have a store anymore. They used to have a store attached to them, but then they had to close it because GW were being dicks. Back in back in the days when GW were massive colossal dicks. Um, Oh, it died. It's gone. Phone dead. Bye. <laughs> Instagram's one of those socials you have but don't use. I only have it because people were telling me I should post photos of my models on there. And so that's why I have it. And now that I've got it, I've started following people on there. Honestly, mostly just friends of mine, <laughs> to tell you the truth. Um, that, that, that's the majority of the people I follow on Instagram are people I actually just know. Who also do 40k stuff. Um, so the only like proper like official serious accounts I follow are like well mini wargaming now I've literally just followed, but also tabletop tactics and um, SN battle reports. And those are the only ones I follow that are like proper Instagrams as opposed to just other random people like me. Use it for dog pictures. Bear play. Ready to work. Huh? Double. Looking good. I've not. Yeah, I've noticed that. Like, in, if you want to, if you want to get followers on a social media Your network, Instagram master. is clearly the best one to do it with. Because since I made my Instagram account, I there's an alarming number of people following me on it already. It's kind of crazy. I, I found that out for my brother because he has an Instagram for his artwork he does. And he doesn't have like some YouTube channel or whatever to inflate the numbers like me. He's just some random bloke. He made an Instagram account and he posts, you, you know, you post under certain hashtags and all of a sudden you have like a hundred followers. It's like, what? What? Where are these people coming from? Work 
complete. Actually, what work was completed? Not enough food. Oh. Eternal grind for more farms. Use more hashtags. I I, I, uh, I don't want hashtags to use. I'm, I'm posting under Warhammer40k and WH40k at the moment. <laughs> I've seen other people use it and they like post like a fucking paragraph of hashtags after everything they post. And I'm just like, what? The devil. Not really be bothered. Well, that's what I did. I um, I, w <laughs> I, uh, I, I went over to Winters and Liam's um, shared Instagram account for, for DZ TV uh, when I first set up my Instagram. I was like, what what hashtags should I use? I literally just went over to theirs and just copied them. So. Get into this thing. If we can, yes, can oh, do it. Do it. Would you want me to the boss? All right, your command, command master. Your command you the boss. master. It's over. me a shipyard. What's a tower do? Let's build a tower. I have no idea what it does, but let's build it anyway. Oh, Christ. My, my tower is finished, but it's now on fire. <laughs> Red. Watchtower. Upgrade to guard tower? Hell yes. That's what I want. Goddamn turrets. Give me another one. I could, uh, I've been doing that all evening, Ginger. I didn't want to overdo it. <laughs> Build me a foundry worthy of Mordor. Mm. The question is... Oh, it has to be on the coast, huh? Interesting. Captain, would you want me to? Okay, okay. Do want ducks? All right, you boys are group one. Time to start working on group two. Also, some boats. Work complete. Lord, where refinery? Yeah. Zug Zug, your command master. Dabu. More gold. Done building ship. Huh? Swobu. 
Mark, you're the oh, captain. Boy. Let's see what this gets us. Work complete. Uh, upgrade cannons, upgrade. Ah, right, okay. I would love to. It's upgrades, basically. There's a thousand oil for that, Jesus. Lord of Lockdown. Ah, you get transports now, though. That's important. I may I would love to. You're the oh, captain. I would love to. I would love to. You're the captain. You're the captain. You're the yeah, captain. Somewhere You're the over captain. there. Ahoy! Done building ship. I would love to. I would love to. Arg? I would love to. Arg? I would love to. Arg? I would love to. I would love oh, to. Oh, look, it's a seal. Ahoy! That makes head crab noises. Not head crab noises, the other thing from Half Life. Dead. Yes, Captain. I love to. Ahoy! Ahoy! What are those Captain. things called in Half Life 1? The little to. things that make the loud noise? Because that's what that sounded like. Ahoy! I would Ahoy. love to. Work complete. I would love to. I would love to. <laughs> I was like, no, no! And the Canadians in the audience are just like, I don't get I it. What's the problem? You're the, captain. You're the captain. I would love to. <laughs> huh? Lockdown. Fight, you I got it now. Yes. I'm glad somebody got the joke. I would love to. You're the captain. Ah, that's what Ahoy. Wrong. Excellent. Ahoy! 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 You're the captain. Ahoy! Ahoy! You're the captain. I would love to. Ahoy, ahoy, you're the captain. Arr. Can you, like, help build, build that or something? Is that a thing that can happen? Not really sure. Are you helping or are you just... Maybe he's helping. Arr, I would love to. Hello. Huzzah, we found ahoy. more oil. And another island. You're the captain. Ahoy. Interesting. Work complete. Production oil, 100 plus 25. Very good. Do you have a thousand oil yet? Not even slightly. One of the, oh. Eternal farm grind continues. Yes, Captain. Are you I the think captain? the refinery is increasing the amount of oil we get per haul. Captain? Get wrecked, Alvin Destroyer. Yes, Captain. Ahoy. I'll get their attention. Work complete. Work complete. I would love to. We're being attacked. Yes, Captain. 
Ooh. I'll even more of them. And they'll grind me down with attrition. Chase. I I would love yes, Captain. I would Ahoy. love to. Okay. I would love to. Oh my days. Wow, that was uh unexpected. Kill that oil tanker. Yes, Captain. Damn it. I would love well, to. We'll get him next time. Arg. You're the captain. I would love You're to. the captain. Ahoy. Arg. We did it. I would love to. I would love to. I would love to. Here's a You're thing. the captain. You're the Peons captain. repair ships. Eat the zug zug. Eat the rubber. Abu. Done building ship. I matey. I would love to. Your command, master. Yes, You're Captain, the captain. I, would love I, would to. Love to. I would love to. I would love to. Look dark. I would love to. Ahoy. I would love to. Zug zug. Zug zug. Zug yeah. zug. Zug zug. Yes, Captain. Don't seem, to, don't seem to be able to do it. Transports as well, actually. Oh, uh, that. Finally had a thousand oil. Your command, master. Your, Your command, master. Start building ship. Yes. Don't that you the boss. You got me. All right. All right. Who do you want me to kill? Arg. You're the captain. Oh, we're going to need to build another farm. <laughs> I see the deforestation is going quite well. Work complete. Done building ship. I made I would love to. Yes, Ahoy. Captain. Yes, Captain. Ahoy. Ahoy. You're the Captain. Work complete. What work? Probably these. Work complete. Work complete. Would you want so, to how many can I fit inside one of these? Arg. 
get six guys in there. Oh, I would love to. Nope, I'm so yes, Captain. You're the captain. You're the captain. You're gonna need a lot of transports, clearly. Arg, ahoy! Nabu, Joan Dax, Jukami, Lord Nabu, Zugzug, Joan Dax, you the boss. Would you want to kill Dane, the boss? Save. 87. Okay, we've made save number 87. We're skipped complete. number 8, and we've gone all the way to 87. Yes, oh, you're the captain. You're the captain. I'm 80. You're the captain. Ahoy. Let's see if this is enough. I would love Ahoy. To. Ahoy. I would love to. Ahoy. More seals. You're the captain. You're the captain. I would love to. Do you have any more thoughts to open while I went? Uh, there's been a lot of suggestions the for the moment, though. I'm Ahoy. mostly preferring, I think, the original because me and V discussed it at length as well as we were playtesting, and uh, our Ahoy. Ahoy. basic conclusion really to. was just that you're the, you're the, captain. Ahoy. Ahoy. the best thing to do I, would I be to do you. an interactive thing where viewers can sort of. Oh fuck me. Uh suggest I was hoping this might be enough, and I think it might be. I haven't said that. There's loads of the buggers. So many dudes! Unfortunately, it looks like the AI is about as good at micromanaging as I was in World of Warcraft 1, so. Where is coming from? How'd you like it now? I kill your peons. Oh, do you like the seals? Do you, do you like the seals? Your command, master. We're being attacked. Moving on. 
Oh, I d uh, you already know about the exploding seals. Okay, good. That's fine then. Where do these peasants keep coming from? Also, um, I seem to be down one grunt. Where's he gone? <laughs> Frickin' seals. Do you want ducks? I'm down. Do you want a cake? Do you want ducks? Okay. Literally getting these guys in here. For the sake of speeding up the process of defeating an already doomed enemy. Game speed, boys. How long it takes, even at this speed. Red ones do go faster. <laughs> I guess I do. Naval ones? Oh my god. Very well. This is going to take some time. Head him off of the pass. No! Kill him! There we go. Done building ship. Hi, matey. You're the, You're the captain. captain. Yes, captain. You're the captain. How many battles on this island, are there? Just have to find out. Yes, You're captain. The captain. Ahoy. Ahoy! Ahoy! Yes, Captain? I would love to. I would love to. Ahoy! Ahoy! You're the Captain. You're the Captain. You're the Captain. 
You're the captain. I matey. Hey, finally. Look at that, 56,900 gold. Act two. The of Hillsbrad has been decimated, and throughout the human kingdoms, the rumors of impending doom spread like wildfire. Warchief Doomhammer is pleased with your success and has deemed you worthy of a more difficult task. Troubles have arisen in the dwarven lands of Cosmodan. A task force of strong guard warriors have laid siege to Dunmodra, a vital staging area for Horde troops. You ought to retake Dunmordra, and then bring your forces to bear against Stromgard's nearby island citadel of Tol Barad. Awesome. Alright. However, this is where we leave it, folks. We're watching you. Ah. Big flakes. 26 months. My goodness. Ah, excuse me, I'm stretching. Um, I did save, yeah. It, I, say, I saved at the end of the previous mission, so when we pick this up next time, we can uh, re-watch that little intro bit. You see. I was clever. So there you go, Warcraft 2, folks. That's I enjoyed that an awful lot more than I uh, remember it being enjoyable. Uh, it's just it's still just a good RTS, man. Still just a good RTS. Um, uh, like I said, a bit slow in the whole building resources and armies phase. But, you know, I suppose if you're desperate, you can just change the game speed like I did. So, Right. It, the time is midnight, just about. I'm going to go. I was thinking about doing some explaining tonight, but I can't be bothered now. I'm way too tired. I want to go. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Let's see who else is streaming currently. Uh, let's have a look. Dirk is streaming some divisions, so I'm going to host him. Uh, da, 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 da. I can never remember how to spell your name, Durka. There we go. Durka, Durko. Durka with an I and Durka with a U. All right. Brilliant. All right, folks. I will catch you on Friday where we'll be doing some more Rome Total War and some hopefully Beyond Good and Evil as well. And we'll pick up more, more Warcraft 2 next Wednesday. Here's the plan. All right. Cheers, my dears. Catch you next time. Toodaloo.